Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. We have the finale of the Lord of the Rings Burkhead series uh, with Aragorn and Arwen being built today. Uh, it is number 40632 in case that matters to you. If it doesn't, there you go, you have some numbers. If you hear any random noises behind me or what sounds like a cat really high on catnip, that is currently what is going on. My cat is rolling around on his back with a giant large fish toy that is about half the size of him and he's just... He's having a real good moment for himself right now, so I'm also getting the uh, the crazy eyes now that I'm narrating his life, so hopefully he does not attack my leg during this video, but hey, we'll see what happens. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is the finale of this series. I really, really hope that they continue this series, and at the very least, give us Legolas and Gimli and Brickheads. I know I can probably find them custom-built somewhere, but I would really, really like that to become a set. Uh, if they do that series, and do continue this um, Lord of the Rings series set, whatever you want to call them, uh, especially now that the giant Master Builder series Rivendell is coming, we do see that they're developing more of an interest in Lord of the Rings, so Legolas and Gimli are easy, my number one two-pack choice. Aside from that, a four-pack like they did with the Hogwarts professors, or the main characters in Hogwarts with um, Hagrid, and then three smaller ones for the kids' uh, version of Ron, Hermione, and Harry. I think that would be awesome to do with the four-pack for the Hobbits. I mean, that would be perfect. Between Frodo, Sam, Merry, and Pippin, that would be an amazing four-pack set. That would really complete a lot of the series. I would say, if they're really going for it, and you needed one more to kind of do like a wave of three like they did this round, King Theoden and the Witch King would probably be their best options, but, you know, this video isn't about my entire wish list and life wants for Lord of the Rings sets. We can save that for another day. But thank you all so much for your continued support. The LEGO videos have been doing great. And quite honestly, I enjoy making LEGO videos more than almost anything else. Because building LEGOs is extremely satisfying and it is my probably favorite hobby in this life. So it's always nice to be able to make videos, get feedback from you guys, and just continuing to grow this channel. We're over 200 subscribers now, which is incredibly exciting. And it's after only a few months. So hopefully we can continue on that category. I would like to... Keep going in this uh, in this whole hobby career choice or whatever you would like to call this, what I'm doing. And it's very exciting and I'm learning every day and it's it's a really great time. So one day my intros will not be this awkward, but we're not going to get there today. So let's get building everybody. Alright everybody, and here we have the very last Burkhead's build. Uh, if it looks like I was struggling on some of the parts, um, it was a little bit difficult to get some of the pieces actually on here. Some of the like little slants and slopes, whatever you want to call them, they didn't intertwine very well, at least the way that the bricks fell for me. Uh, like right in here, I did have a little bit of issue trying to get some of them inside. I don't know if that's just big hands, not meant for a small toy, <laughs> or what it was, but I did have some issues there. Um, overall... It's a very good build uh, out of the Lord of the Rings series. Probably my second favorite. Um, Frodo and Gollum were my least favorite just as a whole. Um, I liked Frodo. Gollum was just okay. But there wasn't too much you can do with that. So I'm not necessarily upset about that by any means. I think they're great sets. Um, but Gandalf and the Balrog are definitely the um, favorite of the two. Now Arwen was actually pretty cool. I did like her. She is missing actually a piece in the back. Um, I have to go look in my uh, spare Lego chest. Just to see, um, chest, I should say, toolbox, uh, to see if I have any spare pieces for it. But yeah, she was missing a couple back here. Um, I have to see what I can build there. But the crown is nice. Um, very not fingerprint heavy <laughs> friendly. So do be careful with that while you're building it. 
Um, but overall, no, she looks really, really cool. Now, if you watched my last video, it was the Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner series, and I was saying that I really like uh, pastels in some of this stuff. It's different. You don't see very much of it, and, I mean, that's a perfect definition of really cool pastel colors. Her dress looks awesome. The crown looks really nice. Overall, pretty cool figure. I wish she would have been holding something. I wish she would have had the necklace that she gives Aragorn. Just something. I wanted to see her holding at least something. Um, even like maybe a small sword, just any sort of item would have been a little bit cool, but now she's just empty handed and out of the entire series back here, she's the only person not holding anything. So I do think that's a little bit of a loss. I know she doesn't exactly uh, carry a sword every second or she's not as prevalent in the movies as the rest of the characters here, but she still needed to at least be carrying something in my opinion, just because it's off. So I'll find something, uh, to at least work in there. Now, obviously my favorite of the crew, Aragorn. Um, really cool figure. Uh, like I said earlier, there are some difficulty just trying to get some of these slants and slopes in here, but it is what it is. And then obviously from shipping, what does tend to happen with chrome pieces, you do have some scratches. I doubt you'll be able to see them on my lovely camera here, but there are quite a bit of scratches on here. That's not preventable. Uh, it is what it is. They're going to ship like that. They're going to get scratched. It's going to happen. It's not the big deal, but I will point it out. He is holding his sword. Now, I, again, like I pointed out in the Frodo uh, build, I wish they would do something specific for their swords, uh, just like an elvish engraving or something like that. Um, right next to my TV in this room, which has a hockey game paused uh, until this is over in about 20 seconds, um, I have the life-sized, handmade, blacksmith-made uh, <laughs> version of this exact Aragorn sword, so... I wish they would do something a little bit more um, elvish on these, something a little bit more specific. Um, I would pay five extra dollars, whatever it costs, um, to actually make the swords a little bit more specific to the character. Not necessarily for small Legos, I know that's going to be a lot harder, but they still do it. I just wish on Brickheads, when it's a little bit more prevalent, and you can obviously see their swords a lot better, that they would do something more special with it. But... Great two figures, great build, amazing series, like I said earlier, and in every LEGO video, I just want more of these guys. I really hope they continue on this series. Um, I haven't really collected Brickheads up until now, and primarily, that is all I've really built on this channel. So, the Brickheads will most likely slow down from here on out, and then we're going to start moving into the big series. Um, I do have the N1 Starfighter back here, and the Razor Crest. I will be doing a Mandalorian series. I do not know how far into the show I'm going to get, but I'm going to at least start posting uh, a lot of Mandalorian builds, specifically the first one, most likely the Razor Quest, uh, some spoiler, for the very start of the show, uh, for season three, which is in the next few days, so hopefully I can get that built, recorded, edited, and ready to go by the time the new season starts. But overall, yes, great. I would say first, second, and third in terms of the best in this crew. A very good brick headset, just a little bit disappointing in some regard. His armor, though, no, looks good. Cape looks good. Everything looks good on him. I'm not necessarily upset with any of it. I'm just saying there's some smaller pieces. Um, just between the first time I've had a missing piece on a brick head to just not holding anything, just a little plain. I just wish they would have done a little bit more with her. Um, but Aragorn looks great. I just wish they would engrave or make some special swords or unique pieces for these sets. But... It is great, and that is a wrap on this series, folks. What I might do is actually line everything up, do a really short video just comparing all of them, what I like, what I dislike, whatever, just like a nice little compilation. Um, so that most likely is my next Lord of the Rings piece to look forward to, unless something fantastic happens and I find one of the old, rare Lord of the Rings Lego sets. But that is a wrap on this series, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, follow, comment, whatever. You know the drill by now if you've been on YouTube for more than five minutes. So thank you so much again for your support. And let's start pushing to 300 subscribers, folks. Thank you so much and have a great day.